I'm Anil Kumar and here is a test question for my junior school students. You need to find common factors and then select the greatest common factors using Venn diagrams for three numbers given to you. The numbers are 18, 24 and 30. You can pause the video, copy question, answer and then look into my suggestions. Question is, list out the factors of numbers using Venn diagram, then find the greatest common factor, GCF. For numbers are 18, 24 and 30. Now first step is, write down all the factors. 18, 1 time 18 is 18, 2 times 9 is 18, 3 times 6 is 18, 4 times 5 times 6 times 3. So these are all the factors of 18. Now write down factors for 24. 1 times 24, always begin with 24, okay? Then 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6, and then 6 times 4. So these are the factors of 24. List factors for 30. 1 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 10, and then 5 times 6, right? So these are possible factors, all the possible factors of the numbers. Now, out of these factors, which are common factors? Now, we could have common factors for 18 and 12. We could have common factors for 12 and 30, 30 and common for all three, right? So that is a complicated part. So what we will do here is, we will say this big circle on the left side is for factors of 18. Okay, we'll use different inks this time and then we will say that the circle on the right has factors of 24 and then we will use another ink for factors of 30. Let me say this is factors of 30. This does not work. So we'll use another ink. Okay, this is factors of 30. Okay. Now, from where should we start? First, we should consider factors which are common to all and then write them down, right? So, that is actually the best way. Find the factors which are common to all and of course, one is always such a factor. So, where should that go? Now, if you see, this part is common to all. It is common to 18, 24 and 30. So, one will come here. Now, which one is other numbers? 2 is also common. Do you see that? Okay. So, 2 will also come here. 2. 3 is also common. Very good. So, we have 3 also common. So, 3 will also come here. Anything else? Well, 6 is also common. 6 is also common. So, we'll squeeze in 6 also here. 6. That is it. So, these four factors are common to all three of them. You get your greatest common factor right there. Now, let us write down the factors which are common to 18 and 24. Okay. So, 18 and 24. These are definitely common. 18 and 24. Let us see from the list remaining, is there anything common? So what we find that nothing is common, right? We are left with 9 and 18, which are not common to 24. Let's see between 24 and 30. So between 24 and 30 also, we do not find any other common factor, right? Now how about 18 and 30? In 18 and 30 also, we do not find any other common factor. That means these portions will be blank for this particular example, correct? So, so there are no other common factors. Rest of the numbers will take the place in these bigger portions. So, for 18, the two numbers left are 9 and 18. So, we'll write 9 and 18 here. For 24, we have 4. 8, 12, 24. 4, 8, 12, 24. 
right? And for 30, we have 5, 10, 15, 30. 5, 10, 15, and 30. Do you see that? So that is how you get, you can write down common factors as 1, 2, 3, and 6, and the greatest common factor is 6, right? So that is the greatest common factor for you. So that is how you can do this kind of a question. I hope that helps. Thank you.